welcome back to the channel everyone and in this video we're gonna be going over the new best setting to use after the recent update here in season five and as always i got some gameplay to back up that these settings are in fact working got a double v2 rocket so with all being said the like on this video is going to be 500 likes and if you guys found this video helpful make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications let's go right into it all right, as you guys can see here, I play with an Xbox Elite controller on PC. Now, luckily, these settings are gonna work no matter what controller you guys are playing on. It could literally be a regular Xbox, a PS5, a Scuf, or an Xbox Elite like I play with. It's not going to matter. Now, you guys can see here, I play on a 3-3 sensitivity. I've always played on a low sensitivity throughout my entire Call of Duty career. In Vanguard, I've been running on a 3 sensitivity since the game has been released. And going into Modern Warfare 2, I'm going to be also running a 3-3 three, three sensitivity. This is going to be the absolute best sensitivity run if you guys are truly trying to improve your aim, accuracy, as well as gun skill. This is how you guys can take enemies out at longer ranges a hell of a lot easier. Because let's be honest, anybody can take somebody out at close range. It's the long range engagements that people are going to be struggling with. And having a low sensitivity coupled with a custom sensitivity per zoom is what's going to really separate good players and extremely good players now speaking of custom sensitivity per zoom you guys can see that i've actually went ahead and reduced this from 1 to 2.7 this is going to allow me to go ahead and have less stick play in my thumbsticks so i am more accurate at longer ranges and i can hit my shots more precise this is going to be super important in games that have an incredibly fast time to kill like vanguard as well as modern warfare 2 so i recommend you guys going ahead and changing your settings right now in preparation for modern warfare 2 if you guys are going to be playing that game within the next couple of weeks now you guys can also see here the button layout is going to be set to tactical this is going to be the absolute best button layout to play on no matter what control you guys have if it has paddles or if it doesn't tactical is going to be amazing because it's going to go ahead and remap your crouch and prone button allowing you to perform a drop shot and stay on target and you're also going to be able to get in and out of cover a lot easier because you're not going to have to go ahead and move your thumb this is amazing and the best button layout to play when on call of duty now you guys can also see here pretty much all the other settings under this category are going to be standard i have my vibration turned off because honestly i don't like vibration it kind of messes up my aim especially at longer ranges and remember long ranges is where a lot of people are going to be struggling with so definitely go ahead and turn this off so you guys are not having any unnecessary movements in your hands as well as controller again everything else is going to be pretty much standard across the board under this category again it's going to work no matter what type of controller you guys have if you guys are playing xbox ps4 ps5 or pc like me now for the gameplay you guys can see here again all this is going to be pretty much the same i've not made any changes on this setting now you guys can also see here i went ahead the only thing that i went and changed is i have automatic tactical sprint turned on just so I can go ahead and move around the lap a little bit quicker and obviously run and gun because I like to play aggressive. Now, these settings are going to work no matter what type of play style you have, but they're going to be working out perfectly if you guys are an aggressive run and gun player. You guys can see here, everything else is going to be pretty much the same. So you have to go ahead and make the adjustments as need be. Now, we're going to go over to the audio settings, which are actually very important. You guys can see my master volume is going to be turned all the way up to 100% my music volume is going to be turned down to 50 percent this is so i can actually hear footsteps and understand what's going on in game i actually like to have the music audio because sometimes there are important cues and kind of announcements that i like to hear in game so definitely go ahead and keep that on just reduce that to about 50 percent again everything else is going to be pretty much the same my hit marker sound effects are going to be set to vanguard typically i set this to whatever the game has enabled just because they're less loud they're less annoying and they're less obstructive now again, audio mix is going to be set to home theater. This is going to be perfect if you guys have a headset, specifically a headset that allows you to hear footsteps. A lot of the headsets in the market right now are perfect. So if you guys have literally any headset that's been released in the last three years, I'd say, definitely go ahead and play on the home theater setting. If you have Astros like me, it's going to work out amazing. That's why they call me ears. 
Now again, everything else is going to be pretty much the same under the audio settings. I've not made any changes because there honestly are no changes that need to be made. Now for the graphics settings, we're going to go straight over to gameplay because this is what's going to be very important. Now under the field of view, I like to go ahead and play on 120 FOV. 120 FOV is going to be my preferred field of view for Vanguard and also Modern Warfare 2 because you're allowed to see a lot more of your screen and it kind of gives you that effect that your game is moving a lot quicker than it is, but it's just kind of a visual kind of enhancement i personally like to have this on the game you can also couple it with the affected ads field of view which is going to make it seem like your weapons have less recoil but in all reality it's just less visual recoil which honestly does help out with controlling your weapon at longer ranges and taking players out so i highly recommend you guys going ahead and running on a 120 field of view with the affected ads field of view if you guys want to make it feel and look like your game is a lot faster than it is and also making it feel that your guns have less recoil now to go ahead and kind of help this out as well you want to go ahead and put your world motion blur your weapon motion blur as well as your nvidia reflex low latency if you guys are playing on pc turn all of this off this is going to add a very annoying and very obtrusive film grain to your game making it a lot harder to see people at longer ranges and track targets which again where a lot of people are going to be falling short this is definitely going to be the best settings if you guys are trying to go ahead and improve your aim accuracy and gun skill at those longer ranges now as far as the quality setting this is going to be kind of specific to your pc i have a pretty decent pc so i can play my game on a lot of the high settings to go ahead and enjoy the way the game does look as well as the display settings i go ahead and kind of have this specific to making content so i can go ahead and switch scenes and adjust obs when need to but again this is all going to be specific to your own setup now for the most important setting in the entire game if you guys are really trying to go ahead and improve your aim, accuracy, and gun skill. Make sure you guys go ahead and reduce your sensitivity. This is gonna be very important for you guys to go ahead and drastically improve your gameplay as well as your aim and accuracy at longer ranges. I hope you guys go ahead and drop everything down. I know some people play on 10-10 and wonder why they can't hit anything. It's because your sensitivity is too high. So with all being said, hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, and as always, I have some gameplay, V2 Rocket gameplay, double V2 Rocket for that matter, to back up these settings and show they do work. So, let's get right into it. Oh, baby. Hey, man, you need to turn around, brother. Keep it moving. I love a counter recall play. They're not really showing up on okay, they are kind of. The enemy is taking the hard We mapped them. Shooting up. Hell y'all, man, the long range engagements with this gun are insanely easy to use. Oh my god. Attack dogs free for action. Dogs are coming. Attack dogs inbound for you. Hard point activated. Lost the dog. Oh. Hard point forward. Have a report. Thank you. Eyes on enemy position. What the hell? Helping you out. After another. This ain't easy. Yeah, we're frying. Rotate over here. We're about to hit a lot of them from behind. Holy shit.
I knew that was gonna happen too. Two down. Teammate, they're all. Oh my god. They're all gonna be over here. But I say, hold on. I'm out of here. Let's get up on. That's why a headset is amazing. Dogs. What? That 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 right there. I, I'm I'm lost for words. Like right there is why like people be bitching about the spawns, including myself. Like, bruh. To get ammo real quick. The lead's ours. Hold on to it. Get up here. Lay out the control zone. Okay, I see. We got it. I literally saw in the corner of my eye the claymore and the S mine. I was like, holy shit. I almost, I almost stepped on it. I almost gave that kill that, I almost gave that bum that weak ass kill. Let's rotate. No, or not. Oh, this has to be a fake lobby. A teammate getting streaks? This is not true. This can't be right. We're getting triple. I mean, not triple cap. They're sitting on the hill, which is going to end the game quick, but. We could definitely pick up some lost time. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh man. Body armor. I got one for a replacement too. Oh man. Oh my god. I need to get ammo. Let me call. I need ammo, bro. I only have two shots. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck it, we'll take the MG. Oh my god, this is gonna be a bitch. I I, I literally have to Like we literally cannot let them sit up they can't they can't be on it at all. We got it. Woo! Oh my god! We held him off! Oh 
Holy shit. I ain't gonna lie, the teammates the reason we got that double right there. Hell yeah.